All right, so we just got an interesting piece of Sonic Colors Ultimate news. I'm doing a different format today just because I'm in between streams on the non-Sonic channel. So, you know, I just wanted to get this out really quickly. I don't want to do too much editing. But yes, there's Sonic Colors Ultimate news. And yeah, they've got HD update spotlight. So we're going to quickly check this out and see what it's all about, basically. And see if it's looking good, basically. they got a 4K option. Okay, no 4K option. I don't know why, but... Let's see what we got. HD updates spotlight. Alright, so HD updates, 60 FPS, revamp lighting, improved graphics and 4K resolution. I'm pretty sure the 4K60 is not for the Switch version, but just saying that they put that there, so 4K60 confirmed for at least the other ports. So they're doing the comparison shots. And as I was saying before, it seems like they were working on the visuals, because the visuals are starting to look a lot nicer here, I think. Um, I don't think it looks as bad as it used to before because some of the earlier footage had some really horrible footage. Well, it was really horrible screenshots that I think here they've done a much better job. I guess it makes sense that they're working on it, so I'm not surprised, but you know, it's finally starting to actually show. Although Sonic's model looks a bit too cheap with the lighting. I don't know how to, it doesn't look as sharp as it did in Unleashed or Generations model, but aside from that, I think the stages are starting to look a lot better. Like Starlight Carnival looks decent even the screenshots they showed recently like it looked a bit washed out but this looks a lot better the aquarium part looks decent hey, my only problem really is the lighting on the model now so you got new mode rival rush go head to head with metal sonic win to unlock rewards okay so this is the racing mode that we knew about before so yeah we've got metal sonic he's looking nice and we've got more style like Carnival, we've got Planet Wisp. So I guess when it comes to racing Metal Sonic, the only real the only real issue is you know Zuka's you know running shit and he likes things to be easy. So the real question is, are they going to actually make this challenging or is it just going to be some piss easy race that one try, two tries max, and you've done it basically kind of thing? Like I really want them to test us in these races. I really want them to make you become damn near a speedrunner to like do this, you know, aside from like taking exploits, but like, I don't want it to just be some, oh, we basically play every level again once, and it's like, like the doppelganger races in generations, like just replay the level and you're pretty much done. So I guess we'll only see, you know, once we get the game, we try it out or whatever. Park tokens and customization, head to the store and use park tokens to unlock unique boosts auras shoes and gloves for Sonic. so that's the customization stuff they're talking about before um let's take a look at that so they got a whole new menu for this that's nice that's a nice looking menu it looks really modern i imagine that menu in 4k will look really nice you've got like customized my records supersonic which i'm guessing you still need all the red, red rings to get that extras you got achievements so you've got all the little floral boosts or different types of boost different types of aura and then different gloves and different shoes. No, I'm not really big on the whole changing gloves and shoes. It doesn't really interest me too much. I prefer like whole new models of skins. Like if they were like you could put 06 model or unleash model or something like that, that would interest me more. Like just changing like gloves and shoes is just OC-ish to me, if you get what I mean. Like Alright. So we can see the pink one, we got like a black squares kind of thing. Eh, it's okay. Whatever. It's just an additional thing, so. So like, see that that looks like old footage. Like, see what I mean? Like the the new tropical resort footage. Like, if we compare that, this looks way better than, say, this. Where is it? It looks like they're mixing old and new footage. I guess because you know they're not really thinking about how it affects the perception of the game. But I'm assuming this is old footage because that looks worse. Jade Ghost. Okay, this is the new wish they were talking about. Transform Sonic. Fly around and pass through solid objects to reach hidden areas. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. So, was that a homing attack? Hold on. It said you said transform, fly around, and pass through objects. Okay. So transform and fly around. That's already there's already a wish that does that. Like the hover does that. So where's the going through object? Okay, so you go through that and then you get the red ring kind of thing. So is there going to be red rings based off that? Or is there, are they going to add anything? That really like, How much is this going to affect the level design? I don't know. Alright, customizable controls. Customize your controls to find a layout that suits your playstyle. 
That's interesting. Could we change the quick step and the drift though? Because how you like they're not really showing the customization section. They just kind of put that there and just like I thought there'll be like a menu like will kind of give us an idea of how that would work. Because I want to know if I can drift and quick step when I'm not in a designated section instead of having to use the analog to do it. If you can do that, then it's cool. If you can't do that and drift and quick step is still mapped to the same thing, or you can move that button. But it can't like I think it's just the action button plus analog. If that's it and you can't really actually separate them from the regular moveset, then this doesn't really matter to me personally. But it's what it is, I guess. So you got the spike whisk. The spike whisk looks a little bit weird here, like really shiny, less colorful. But and that, this tropical resort, that darkness in the background doesn't look good. I hope that's old footage again because the newer footage at the beginning looks way better so i hope that's just old footage so we've got the j ghost whisp again which takes you from one set of rings to another okay hover whisk start carnival aquarium pot this footage looks a bit yeah that footage looks a bit worse compared to the other aquarium pot i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking it but like it looks like they're mixing in new and old footage because there's certain sections that look better or worse than others but i don't know all right so aquarium pot tail save find the tail save and be taken back to safety if you need to be rescued so yeah it's the, the tail save that we know is you know mandatory it's not optional so they kind of show footage of this before it was a, it was a leak so but it was real footage and we kind of saw it so you fall in so we're in tropical resort and who the fuck dies they're like really like you, you're dying here where's my black where's my black effect really you're dying here in this section man but yeah so the tail just shows up and just puts you right back like, like really you couldn't just go back to the checkpoint are the checkpoints even still there i mean i haven't been paying attention but i mean if you got tail save who even needs the checkpoint i mean i guess if you run out of tail saves there's a limit to them so you have to collect them i guess if you don't like the tail save you can avoid collecting them but who really wants to do that i don't know but yeah tail save shows up saves you Collect a 100 count ring to gain temporary invisibility and boost your score after each other. Yeah, we heard about this one before, but like, I guess now we're going to see it properly. So, are they going to show it? Okay, that's the invisibility. So, yeah, invisibility. We have boost anyway. Boost the plow through those enemies anyway. It doesn't make much of a difference. Fully remix soundtrack to set the pace while you put an end to Dr. M as you were playing. I'm hoping you can toggle it. I think you can toggle it because, I mean, this remix that's playing in the background is kind of nice. Actually, I'm fine with that. But I just still hope you can toggle it just in case, you know, because there were some mid ones in there. And just more footage of the game. Pre-order includes Baby Sonic Keychain. And then you've got the Digital Deluxe that has the Movie Sonic Boost, which I think we need to see more of that, to be honest. But, yeah, solid trailer. Just, you know, the footage looks a lot better. I hope that, you know, the newer footage is the ones that look better, because some of it still looks mid, so I'm hoping that's older footage. But... This looks decent. I guess we'll see if we can actually separate the drift and the quick step. And we'll see if Metal Sonic is actually a worthy challenge. I thought there was supposed to be some kind of online for this. I, I think that's Game Land or something. Maybe we'll see that later. But yeah, it's looking decent, I guess. I mean, it's still colors, so I'm not like super hype or anything. But it looks like it's improving from where it was before, at least. Hopefully, we get a decent game out of it. Obviously, Epic Games still exclusive, so I won't be copying it. But it's what it is. Let me know what you guys think about colors. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And of course, subscribe to the Nonsline channel. Link will be in the description. But yeah, man, that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.